It is said that success is the transition from failure to failure without losing hope and without making failure the master of our stances and our lives. Today I will tell you about the story of a human being called the garbage child who became a prey to the owner of the largest telecommunications company in America. But before starting, dear friends, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the subscription bell on a miserable morning that his drug addict mother gave birth to. From an unknown father, this child was born with a sin that he did not commit with a crime that he did not do. Then his addicted mother, absent from consciousness, threw him hours after his birth in a landfill, may God bless you. And fortunately for him, he was picked up by people whose hearts were contained by compassion and humanity, and they took care of him. I guess there is nothing worse than the reality in which this child Freddy was placed. As soon as he was adopted by a family, he was a baby, and his news spread very quickly in his community of a bastard who has no guilt. Bullying in society. Here, focus with me, dear, because a person does charity with his own hands or vice versa. At the age of nine, his father bought him a used computer device from the scrap metal store, on the grounds that their financial situation was not affordable. So he bought him this used device so that he did not feel inferior and I thought that he would keep him out of trouble. As for Alfarity, this was the beginning of the beginning and the first path to success that he ascended, as we are all not born with gold hanging in his mouth. Whoever wants will be able, and whoever is able, surely he will reach and go up the stairs step by step, just as individual work. Individual curiosity made him disassemble the computer and try to discover what is inside and understand how the machine works. Alf Aridi still keeps this computer to this day because it was the push he needed at the time without knowing that it was what would spark the spark of success and spark his interest in technology. Features got a job as a computer fixer at the age of 13, and at the age of 15, he launched his own business, a computer repair project. In the same year he founded the Vickers Computer Company. At the age of 16 his adopted father developed Alzheimer's disease. As I told you, charity makes a person, so what was Freddy thought a lot and tried and worked hard again and failed a lot until he invented a device to solve the problem of his father, who rescued him one day from the landfill. And as soon as him Fonty solved the problem of his fear for his father, he invented a device that he put in his father's shoes to follow him wherever he went without fear of him. And indeed, this invention succeeded. Freddy says, I invented a device that I could insert into my father's shoes that would allow me to track him in addition to talking to him through his shoe. The scenes of degradation were very difficult. It is something I will never be able to forget when he reaches his 20s. He sold the GPS tracker he originally invented to help his father with millions of dollars at the age of 24. Vegers has built 80 custom software programs that have been used by the world's largest telecom companies besides having a great mind and an incredible work ethic that he has a heart of gold. He is an effective model for his role in his society. It sponsors youth programs, provides college scholarships for the elderly, pays disability bills, and helps save homes if they are foreclosed. Vickers told the media will over this world and change the day for a better tomorrow because money is only a tool. But with this tool we can affect and change people's daily lives for the better. I think that the secret of Freddy's success is definitely his persistence and persistence, in addition to the fact that he did not make money a goal in his life, but rather made it a means to achieve his goals. So it is not about who we are nor the circumstances in which we were born. It is about what we do with the time that we give out. This sounds truer than ever when you look at these amazing stories about an abandoned child growing up to be a successful inventor and entrepreneur. Certainly, none of us is born with a gold hanging in his mouth, but anyone is capable of doing anything. But if he had enough determination, will, and discipline despite his difficult start in life, Freddy is grateful to his adoptive parents, for whom it is due to everything that he has achieved now for what happened to him. He teaches us not to allow circumstances to define our personality and destiny here. Dear sirs, we come to the conclusion of this video and we hope that you like it. Do not forget to support us with admiration and share it with your friends and we are happy to share your opinions in the comments.